I've had my workbench for a while now and I'm really happy with it, but I wanna increase the functionality by adding dog holes. Now I'm gonna be using three quarter inch holes right in the surface of the bench and that's gonna allow me to use things like this. This is a bench dog which would go in the hole and allow me to butt work up against it or something like this which is a, a, a hold fast, drops down the hole and clamps the surface of it. And then there's all kinds of different clamping accessories that they make for workbenches that have dog holes laid out in them. In order for me to do this with some level of accuracy, I made this. This is a, a template that, that's cut out of quarter inch aluminum. Uh, you could easily use MDF for this, but I wanted to be able to keep this and use it down the road. So these holes are seven ace holes, four inches on center. And then I've made a couple pins here. Now these pins are going to allow me to drop them in, locate it, and sort of leapfrog this template as I go across my workbench. Now to cut the holes, I'm gonna be using a router. And I have a router set up with a half inch spiral bit and a five eighths inch bushing. So I'm gonna plunge cut this, follow my template, and it should stay accurate. We'll see how it goes. had a little bit of an accident. I didn't let the router spin down completely and I was lifting it out of the hole. The edge of the bit caught my template, trashed that hole on my template. It also damaged my work surface here a little bit. And uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna repair that or you know fill it in with epoxy or just leave it alone as a reminder to not be an idiot when you're working with power tools. It also destroyed my bushing here, uh, and that kept me from completing this. So I went over to Woodcraft, picked up a new bushing. I've got some X's on the template, so I know not to use that hole, and I think we're back in business. This is a white side bit in there, so it's a good quality bit. It didn't even damage it. Looks like it's gonna be fine. So we're back at it. I've been looking forward to doing this for a while now. It's gonna add so much functionality to my workbench, so I'm pretty excited to use it. Lessons learned. Uh, one issue I was having was these, this roll that's closest to the edge on both sides, it was hitting my nailer that I built into my cabinet when I built this originally, so I had to finish up and just use a, a Forstner bit to, to drill through the whole way. Uh, and then the other thing is, Patience, just take your time. <laughs> Make sure you lock the plunger when you remove the router, that type of stuff, so you don't have any casualties like, like I did here. But uh, yeah, I'm stoked, really excited. Thank you for watching. Please make sure to like and subscribe and all that stuff. <laughs>